Hello and welcome to this week's Forex Outlook here at XM.com. My name is Georgiou Investment Analyst and I'm here with our Chief Economist, Michalis Florentiadis. So Michalis, we had some dovish perceived remarks by Fed Chief Powell, those weight to some extent on the US currency. Can you give us some insight on this as well as on major developments and movements throughout the week? Uh, absolutely, Andreas. I think that uh, the Fed uh, might take it a little bit easier uh, next year. The Fed is uh, appearing to heed the advice and maybe a little worried that maybe things are slowing down a little bit in the in the future for the U.S. economy. So they, they might not be as aggressive. Having said that, we had the Fed minutes and the, the, they showed that the December hike is going to take uh, place. But uh, I think that there will be some more flexibility next year. So the uh, guidance for uh, three more Fed rate hikes uh, next year maybe should not be uh, taken in absolute uh, terms. And absolutely, the market is starting to think about uh, one more rate hike this year. Having said this, I think the dollar uh, did not uh, react uh, so badly. It was rather resilient in the space of the these uh, negative uh, news. Yes, it posted uh, some losses, but they were not uh, something uh, uh, we didn't uh, watch a route uh, taking place in the dollar. Maybe, of course, uh, the euro has its own uh, set of problems. We've seen the challenges in Italy, although there are some there is some optimism that there might be uh, an agreement in Italy. We are seeing uh, the issue of Brexit. Of course, we had uh, the deal last weekend that uh, there would be um, there was an agreement about what is going to happen after uh, the Brexit uh, date and how it's going to transition and the political principles. However, it seems that the market does not believe that uh, the parliament is going to approve that. We have the date for a parliamentary vote on this uh, deal, the 11th of December, and uh, we are uh, getting a lot of uh, contradictory signals Probably it will not pass. The market is not expecting this deal to pass, but uh, uh, May has taken her case directly to the people. Maybe she will find some support uh, from that. And finally, uh, one of the biggest losers uh, this week was also the loonie, uh, where the weakness in the oil price definitely weighing on the loon. And of course, going into the weekend, we have the G20 summit. There is a lot of anticipation with respect to what is going to be talked about between uh, uh, President uh, Trump and uh, Xi, a Chinese uh, president. But at the same time, a lot of conflicting signals. So I'm wondering, do you are, are we going to see uh, some big developments? What, what should we be expecting out of this? And what is going to happen next uh, week? Well, excuse me, Halis, there are mixed signals. What is for sure is that if we have a breakthrough, then risk on trades obviously will be favored, whereas on the contrary, in case of a confrontational stance, then the safe havens will, will gain, such as the yen. And um, beyond that, Mihaly is next week and starting with the US. On Friday, we'll see the release of its employment report for November. Again, wage growth will be at the center of attention. Its uh, average earnings on a yearly basis are expected to grow by 3.1%, which allow me to remind you that that's a cycle high, and nine and a half year high. Uh, moving further north to Canada, uh, it will also be on the receiving end of its respective employment report for November next Friday. But before that, on Wednesday, the Bank of Canada will be meeting. No change in rates is expected, though it will be interesting to see whether it will more firmly put on the table uh, in, January, in January hike. But also important for, for the Rooney Mihaly, I should say, which has been strongly correlated to oil, will be Thursday, th Thursday's meeting uh, between OPEC and its allies to discuss output. But before that, something that maybe is to some extent overlooked by markets is that during the G20 meeting, also Russian President Putin will be meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, so definitely they will discuss oil. Uh, across the other side of the Atlantic, Mihalis, in Europe, you already mentioned that Italy will be dominating attention. Uh, out of the UK, we'll have some PMI figures, most importantly on Wednesday, the service PMI. But again, Brexit will be at the center of attention. 
And lastly, moving on to Australia, it will see the release of a raft of, da of, a raft of data. Having the greatest capacity to move the markets will likely be Wednesday's GDP figures. And Tuesday, we will have an RBA meeting, of course, no change in rates expected, but the bank's communication will likely determine the short-term bias in the Australian currency. Okay, so uh, we'll see what happens uh, during the G20 meeting. As you said, uh, very interestingly, it's not only about uh, trade, but possibly we might uh, get uh, uh, some guidance with respect to what's going to happen with the OPEC meeting and uh, what are their plans uh, for maybe trying to put a floor under uh, the oil price. So, it should be an interesting week ending with the ever popular uh, non uh, farm payrolls and US employment report. Thank you very much, Andreas. Thank you, everyone, for watching and have a great day.